Welcome back. Figured I'd toss you another beer before this next burger spot. That's much better. Time to call one of my favorite tap houses, Lodi. There's a smiling face I know and love. Hey, Elliot, how you doing? Nice to see you. I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm good. We're surviving. Everything's good. So were you guys excited to, to be back on, on the show again? Oh, we couldn't believe it. Yeah, when that when that uh, phone call and emails came in, we, we couldn't believe it. We were absolutely uh, uh, super excited, and I think we did a little dance, maybe. A little dance. I can't show you what it looks like on the phone, but yeah, we did a little dance. Well, no, I think you should probably do a recreation, because most shows are... There we go. <laughs> Guys, when I say road trip, I mean out of the city, winding roads surrounded by cornfields. Now this is a road trip. And today we're in Maple Park on our way to Lodi Tap House for burgers, beers, and possibly the best cheese curds in the whole of Illinois. My favorite part of the whole show is doing the uh, intro at the end of the show. We actually shoot the intro to the segments a last. We'll do Don't ask trip. me why. I feel like we haven't done a proper journey, but, but Lodi, to get here, driving through the cornfields, through the farms, it really felt like it was a true destination. You guys were here, what, six hours, seven hours? It was hard to get you to leave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a small little town just uh, past all the buildings in the suburbs, but uh, then when you get here, we got uh, one of the best beer offerings of Illinois craft beer, in addition to some of the best food uh, in the area. Maple Park is a little gold nugget. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but it also is somewhere once you've been there, you don't forget it. I'm not lying to you when I say Lodi is a destination tap house for a destination burger. We've a journey to get out here, so I feel like it's time to get back in the kitchen. Plus, we heard from our buddy, Darren, who is basically an honorary member of the show. I was so honored that they came to one of my recommendations. I love Lodi. I've been a fan for a long time. You guys have a killer burger, outrageous cheese cut, so that sounds like the right thing for me. Absolutely. This is Chef Stu. He's the man who's going to replenish my, my my hunger. I think I slept about First two hours getting ready for all this. In here, we take our butter and bacon mix, toss it on the grill. Whoa! Rewind. A uh, what? It's a 50/50 blend of butter and bacon grease. Bacon. Everything tastes better with bacon. Bacon. I remember sitting in back with Elliot and going over everything a couple times. It's, it was good. Definitely a little nervous. Melt a little bit, you want to hit that perfect stage of melt. Ah, uh, there it is, yep, the perfect melt. I think it's about time I get my curd on. You guys make them. Yes, sir. Curds, dry mix, wet. Into the fry. We've got ourselves a production line going, my friends. <laughs> Friend of the show, or basically family member of the show, Dar Darren's been on the show more than I have. <laughs> I mean, you've made our lives so much better. I mean, when we see something on the episode, it's like on the list for the next week. You're the first person that has ever told me that I've made their life better. <laughs> we couldn't do a revisit without you, my man, Darren. <laughs> what's, what's up, Elliot? It's so good to see you, man. I came prepared because I thought we were gonna, we were gonna throw it out, my friend. Oh, you're going hard, huh? I, this is in honor of you. How many appearances have you now made on the show, including this episode now? This will be four, man. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You guys have changed my food life and made it better. The next time I see you, I want to see you dress like me. So skinny jeans, an ironic t-shirt, and some all-stars, all right? <laughs> I'll do that. I don't I don't I don't even know if uh, if I can get one leg in, in skinny jeans, brother. What is it about this place that you wanted us to know about? When you come here, this is one of those places you take a bite of the food and you're like, what? Mm. Your brain just kind of explodes and uh, that's it. I tell them I you have to come here. This is akin to what my last meal might look like. Heck yeah, let's hit it. Okay. Cheers. Clink out. Trying to figure out how to uh, eat a burger like that on TV and not look like a complete slob, that was kind of fun too. <laughs> I think you coached me very well though. It's like eat, chew, chew, and then I'll let you talk for a moment and then eat, chew, chew again. Eat, chew, chew. That's a damn fine burger. Not just the fact that I was blown away by that 50-50 bacon butter grease that's Heck going yeah. on in there. It's a burger worth the drive. There you go. Which moves us on to our, our second part of the last meal. Made in-house cheese curds. Heaven pillows, they're great. Oh my good God. Cheese for days. Mm. Are there any properties for sale in the area? <laughs> we'll find you one. Consider it done. Okay. Cheers. Done deal. 
since we've seen you, we opened up a secondary location down at by Star Rock in Utica. And in both locations now, we have uh, delivery and a pretty wide delivery range. It's free uh, right now. We're trying to uh, get the great food out to the people. And then obviously we uh, have full curbside pickup uh, offer too.